So yeah, last year was quite eventful in a lot of different ways, unexpected ways. We finally signed with a, a label, which was amazing, um, out of line, who are based in Germany. And we're meant to start this whole new year where we're gonna go overseas, we're gonna do the touring, we're finally gonna start getting out there. And sure, I remember like us playing Ramfest in March with uh, Black Dahlia Murder, what a jewel. And it was like the way we played, the way we performed and what was gonna happen in the future was super exciting. And then COVID hit. We got back from a tour of a lifetime came back with the killer opportunity and uh, yeah, then got slapped in the face by a little thing called COVID. There was no outlet for, for the band, you know? I mean, so, you know, that part of every member in the band, you know, it was kind of suppressed, you know, and we, we weren't able to play live. We weren't able to, you know, get pumped for a show and go and play loud, you know, at volume 100 and, you know, just give it your all and sweat it out and have people singing and, you know, interacting with people at shows. So yeah, it was shit in that aspect, you know, and I think I think for a lot of musicians, um, last year it was, it was very tough. It's really put a lot of like kind of mental strain on, on, on people. I kind of struggled mentally with 2020. But I think we, as a band, we really try to stay relevant, even though we couldn't play shows. So we're kind of stuck in a situation where we had to change the dynamic of what the band was doing and how we're going to get out there and how we're going to reach fans. And luckily for us, we were super smart with some planning that we did with our new EP, which was, what was it, 2020? And then MMXX, with our new EP, MM, M, <laughs> MMXX. Um, and uh, we decided we we're going to release music videos for each single off that album. We still somehow managed to film some music videos. Uh, we managed to put out five last year. It was really tough shooting in times when we couldn't really do anything. It kind of forced a lot of bands to think differently and I think most bands just went into writing mode. Because of the hard lockdown, we've been crazy busy writing and uh, doing a lot of pre-production for a new album that we plan on releasing this year. Uh, we actually just like finalizing some songs at the moment. The songs are sounding hard, they're sounding heavy, they're sounding different as well. Uh, I'd say that we, we're branching out from a specific genre and yeah, I think, I think guys will be quite happy with what's, what's going to be released in 2021. It's definitely taking a, a more modern sort of direction and sound, I feel. It's obviously still heavy as hell, which is what we've, we've always aimed for. We're super stoked to hear what's kind of coming out of it, and we're all getting creative on it at the same time. Uh, there is a pretty big banger uh, that we are excited to put out. But it's sounding cool. We've got some really awesome stuff, which we're going to share with you guys. One of the singles off it, which is um, sounding pretty brutal and pretty heavy. But yeah, it's exciting times. We've done a recording of the track in our band room and um, hopefully you guys like it. It's a heavy piece, heavy, heavy song, but it hits hard and I'm super proud of it and I'm super proud of what we've done as a band to get this to the point where we can actually show you and share it with you. We just want to give a big shout out to Pat from Metal for Africa for hosting us and still keeping metal alive in Africa with Summerfest and Winterfest and um, keeping the website alive, great news. As tough as it is, I think Pat has persevered through this tough time and has kept the, the Summerfest and Winterfests going. Big, big shout out to him for actually keeping it alive and you know, keeping metal or heavy music in South Africa relevant. <laughs> What's happening? This is James with Bates in the Gallows. Um, we're here today filming for our shoot for Summerfest. Um, and thankfully, because of Persona South Africa, they have actually saved the day. They have loaned us this incredible Studio Live 32SX mixer. It's a 24 Fado, 32 channel mixer. This is crazy. So many tools, so many bells, so many whistles. Um, and this is going to help us do a live recording of our 
new single, which we still haven't decided what we're calling it just yet. Um, but yeah, this should be really exciting. Um, thanks to them, this is just going to be so much more easier, so much more cooler, got so much more control of what we're doing, how we're doing it, and it's going to be exciting. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and also they hooked us up with some incredible drum mics, the DM7, which is a new drum series for them. Um, yeah, really excited to hear how it's going to sound. Um, should be cool. It looks super nice. And uh, we got the right drummer to actually properly test them out. So let's hit it. This is how you write, folks. Okay, a new song. Control now you can Watch out, I'm moving away from my shit To do 